Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a home launcher app from Nokia called Z Launcher. Uh, if you've watched my reviews, you know I've reviewed a lot of different home launchers. I've tried a lot, gone through a lot, um, and they all have their own sort of strengths and weaknesses. Um, but Z Launcher is an app that I never even really considered trying uh, because it's just is completely an unconventional home launcher. So I didn't think I'd like it. But I read an article about it recently and it made me think, hmm, I should at least give it a try. So I did and I ended up loving it. And it has been my home launcher ever since. So let's jump on my phone. I'm gonna show you how it works, all the cool features it has, and why I definitely recommend you give it a go. Okay, so here we are on my home screen. This is the main Z Launcher home screen. Uh, very simple. You have the time at the top, both in analog and digital. If you tap that, it opens up your default uh, uh, clock app. Um, unfortunately, that's not customizable yet. Hopefully, they'll change that because I use Alarm Clock Extreme, so that tap is wasted for me. I, I hope that they change it so that you can uh, open up whatever app you want to when you tap it. Um, hopefully, they'll change that in the future. And then you have a list. This is a list of apps that uh, either you've opened recently and or that Z Launcher thinks you might most likely want to open at this point in time based on your history. Um, so it uh, uh, records uh, data as you're using it and it tries to sort of predict what you'd want to open and what you'd want to use and it's right there just uh, waiting for you. But let's say you wanted to open a different app. Let's say I want to open the app Note Everything. So I'm just going to draw an in and boom note everything right there at the top right there waiting for me now if i maybe i had really been ha handwriting and it's good at reading that but let's say it was so bad that it got it wrong so i could just swipe backwards and it'll erase it and let's say i want to open uh, google play music so i draw a p and there's play music right there as well as other apps so what happens is at, when you type a letter it goes, it, it, it takes that information and looks through all the apps you have on your phone and it brings up all the apps that, that it can that starts with P. Now you may have more apps than what are here. You can uh, do additional letters and it'll start eliminating or focusing on uh, apps with both letters, you know, however far you need to go. Uh, a lot of times though, one letter and the app you wanted is right there. Uh, but if not, then you just continue writing and it will get to the app you want. Uh, you do have the dock down at the bottom. You have four customizable uh, buttons there. So if you long press something, you can just drag it down and it'll be attached to that dock. The center button is kind of useless. I'll show you what that does in a minute. Uh, if we X out of that, then it goes back to the home screen, back to the apps that we think you most likely would want to open based on your history. Uh, if you swipe over to the left, you do have an additional screen just for widgets. So uh, Z Launcher used to not support widgets at all. A lot of people were like, hey, I want my widgets. So they added the screen. Of course, you don't have to use it, but it's kind of cool. Uh, you can just put the widgets like easy, easy access to see what's on my calendar for me, uh, how much data I've used, and my next alarm, a quick weather thing. Uh, camera and Conjure, which is an app I reviewed before that I was just uh, been playing around with. Um, but that's your widget screen. The widgets are resizable, so if you long press, you can remove or you can resize. Uh, it doesn't resize as efficiently as Nova Launcher or Apex or some of the really uh, uh, cool launchers. It, it resizes the widget, but it doesn't change resize the content of the widget. Um, but it still is effective for for what you use it for. Uh, mo mainly the, the advantage of Z Launcher is that you can get to any app so quick. Uh, on a traditional launcher you may have four or five pages with buttons or folders and even though you set it up yourself, 
you have to remember where it is or how to get to it and it takes several swipes or button clicks um, to get to your favorite stuff and then if something isn't a favorite app if it's an app you haven't used that much then uh, a lot of times you have to go to your app drawer to get it with this no matter what app you want uh, it's easy to get to just simply by uh, typing the letter so for example I want to go to here maps draw an H there's here I don't use here maps that often I use Google Maps mostly but if I needed to use here maps I can get to it just like that really fast which is what's really cool about it now I, there is a pseudo app drawer and there's two ways to get to it the first way is by sliding over this is your app drawer it's every app on your phone in alphabetical order and then if you want to go to the Play Store, you tap the little bag that takes you into the Play Store. So you have quick access to that as well. Uh, now the center button here does exactly the same thing. Takes you to the app drawer, so to speak. Uh, so that's kind of a wasted button. One thing that's really cool about this app, it's easy to use one-handed because you can just, uh, you know, draw a letter one-handed and come up with any apps that you want to have access to really quick. Uh, but the one thing you can't do one-handed very well is pull that notification panel down because your hand doesn't, your, you know, your thumb doesn't reach because phones are so big these days. So you have to like move the phone down and get up to it. So what I would like to see is for them to turn this button into a useful button. Maybe a tap made the notification panel drop down automatically. And even better yet, if they build in a, a gesture thing, so swipe up, swipe down, swipe left, swipe right from that button, a tap and a long press. I mean, that would automatically give you six different functions you could have, and you could, uh, cust if they could make it so you could customize that to open a, an Android shortcut or to open a, uh, any app, that would be just brilliant, I think, and really take this to the next level. Um, but even as it is, uh, it's still uh, a good app, and it works uh, uh, really, really well. Uh, one thing I did want to show you, too, besides uh, your apps, you can also find people. So, for example, if I do an M and then I do an O, and you're going to see call mom and dad right. Those are my parents, of course. I got that blacked out because I don't want you to call my mom and dad. Um, although I will tell you, if you were to call my mom and you said, hey, I saw your son on YouTube and I thought I'd give you a call. You could stop talking and not say another word and she would talk to you for an hour without you saying anything because that's my mom. God love her. Um, but anyway, so it also goes through your contacts and it can also go through your bookmarks, uh, your web bookmarks. So let's look at the settings real quick, which are over here on this page. You hit the settings button and you'll see you can include web search. So if you want, you can uh, include web search suggestions. Now that would happen after basically it had exhausted, like if you wrote uh, five letters and once you get to that fifth letter, there's no app or contact that matches what you're writing, then it'll start giving you web suggestion results from Google, which is kind of cool. Uh, content sources, so you can decide if you want contacts included. So if you don't want contacts included, you can change that. Also, you can uh, include or not include your bookmarks and browsing history in what comes up. Uh, and then you can use a theme pack. If you have an icon theme pack, you can use that. Um, and that's uh, 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 pretty much it. Uh, this just allows you to change the launcher if you decide you want to use a different launcher. And reset identifier, that's because Z-Launcher is always monitoring how you're using it to try to better predict what you're going to use or what you would want access to on that home screen. And if you hit reset, then it'll erase it and start over basically. Um, but right now, uh, as it is, it's going to have apps here that either I've accessed recently or it has noticed that I frequently access around this time uh, to try to make it even faster without me having to even write any letters. But that's pretty much it. That's Z-Launcher. Really a uh, great app. Uh, works really well. For me, it has really sped up how quickly I can get to what I want on my phone. Um, and that's why I'm sticking with it. Even though at first I didn't think that it was going to be a launcher I would like um, because I was so used to the traditional launcher. Um, but I've really taken to this and uh, it's, it's been awesome. That was Z Launcher by Nokia. And as you can see, it's a really cool launcher and really fast. Just makes it uh, quick and easy to access any app you want to access whenever you want to access it without flipping through a lot of screens or pressing a lot of buttons. You just, uh, you know, you do the letter and boom, it's there. Right where you need it, right when you need it. So really cool home launcher app and best of all, it is free. 
So uh, download it and check it out. I'll have a link to the uh, Apple and Google Play in the description below. Anyway, that's it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. And you know anyone who has an Android phone, share this with them so maybe they can check it out for themselves. You can do that on Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, all those fun ways are down there. And don't forget to check out my channel besides 200 Android app reviews. I also have an entire Tasker tutorial series and then a huge product review playlist with uh, all kinds of cool gadgets and accessories to go with your Android tablet or phone, as well as household products, appliances, dog products, and a lot more. So be sure to check out my channel for all that cool stuff. Anyway, that's it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.